Hey guys, look what I got. That's right, I got the HTRC 240 Duo. This is a battery charger. I will be using it to charge LiPos. In this video, we're gonna unbox it, see all the parts and pieces. We're gonna do some tests, and then at the end, I'm gonna do my pros and cons to wrap things up. Coming up next, we're gonna see what's going on inside the box. All right, before we open this thing up, feel free to hit pause. That way you can see all these details on the back. Kind of a nice summary of what this thing can do. But for right now, I am going to tear into this thing. And definitely seems like it's got a nice solid box, which is a very good thing. Looks like, yeah, all I have to do is kind of shake it. Shake it and grab it and pull this thing apart, of course, inside the box. Got the charger, a bunch of connectors. That is a good thing. Makes it so you can do quite a few different things. These alligator clips are gonna come in extremely handy, not just for my charger, but uh, for other chargers potentially that I've got. That is very good. And we've got two sets of that stuff very cool two balance boards this is a duo charger wow and a third one this is actually a, a dc connector that way we can do stuff in the field with this charger which is very cool of course here is our power cord nice instruction manual on the bottom and of course this is our charger right here very cool all right guys I am going to come back and we're gonna plug this in and see how this thing works all right guys we're gonna do a test here with a 6s pack this is one of my favorite to fly in my EDF jets and I think it's a really good baseline test to see how well this works now one of the things that I want to say is that the battery recognizes, or excuse me, the charger recognizes the battery. And it's set to a much higher voltage than I prefer to charge at. I prefer to charge just a little bit below 1C. So I have this set to three amps. And of course this is a 3.3 or 3300 milliamp hour battery. So that's just below 1C. And all I have to do is hold that down and then hit that and boom, we're charging. So this is was at a storage charge, right about 23 volts, maybe a hair below. So I'm gonna hit stop. And then once this is charged, it will tell us how long it took to do that. I'm gonna check the vitals. I'm gonna make sure that nothing gets too hot. I'm gonna not leave this unattended because with LiPo batteries, you absolutely wanna keep these attended because LiPo fires are real. And technically I should be using this in a lipo bag, but it's really hard to shoot video like that. So um, please look past that because normally I stick everything in the lipo bag, fire safe lipo bag and charge it that way. So we'll be coming back shortly. Okay, everybody, just about 20 minutes in to the charging of this 6S pack. I decided that I am going to do some charging with another pack. It also gives me another opportunity to show you how this actually works. I've got the XT90 right there, and that's my own banana plug. Plug it into the balance board that it came with it. But this, this all came with it. So I'm going to show you exactly how this is supposed to work when you use just what comes in the box. So you've got these banana plugs right here, and these connect to this which will connect to your battery of course there are other plugs that will connect to this the one that I'm going to demonstrate right now pretty much live in real time is how to get this set up this is my scorpion pack I love these scorpion batteries they're fantastic so I'm going to plug this in then I'm going to plug in this balance board right here Pop it in there. Of course, it's much harder when I'm trying to do it on camera. 
There we go. Perfect. All right, so now all I have to do, since this is plugged in, to create the circuit, put this in there in the 4S slot of the balance board. Make sure we're in the frame of the camera. Yes, yes we are. And let's push start on that. And it recognizes that this is a 4S pack. And now we can toggle between the things. And I've got the amperage right there. I'm gonna back this all the way down to 1.8 amps. And that will make this charge at 1C. And I'm gonna hold this down and then start it and there we go. So now this thing is under the load of two batteries being charged. It's not getting warm at all. This battery is nice and cool. And of course this battery is nice and cool too. Of course it just started. So we're gonna come back and we are gonna check on these coming up next. All right, guys, we're getting really close to having the 6S pack being fully charged. We just hit 42 minutes on the nose. And you know what? I'm charging below 1C, so it's going to take a little bit longer. And one of the things that I have noticed is this thing is ice cold. The battery's ice cold, all of them. And this is a pretty heavy load. I could be charging at a higher amperage. But for the life of my packs, this is how I do it. And I'm not gonna try and destroy my packs just to test the charger. This is real world conditions how I'm gonna be using it. Now my other chargers, they get warm under circumstances like this. So that is a huge, huge pro on this so far. I am going to sign off here real quick, but I'll be back shortly and we're gonna see how things go. We'll be back shortly, guys. All right, guys, that is the sound this makes when your pack is full. I think that's the stop. Let's start. Okay, there's the stop. And it was, well, rewind and hit pause. I think it was something like 45 or 50 minutes. And, you know, everything is nice and cool. Had the pack all nice and charged up. We're getting close to getting this 4S pack done, which is awesome. So I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to get my checker and I'll be right back. All right, so let's plug this thing in. See what we got. There we go, 99%, a nice full charge. In fact, just a touch above, let's do a little cell checking you guys can take that for what it's worth and coming up next we're gonna be checking on that 4s pack that thing is just about done all right we now have the scorpion pack the 4s pack all charged up i'm gonna hit the stop button all right you gotta press that firmly apparently and let's pop this thing off. Let's do a quick little check here. Okay, so here's what it looks like. Here are the cell counts. For all you real technical guys, there you go. All right, coming up next, we're going to do our pros and cons for this thing. All right, guys, we are going to do our pros and cons and wrap this video up. As far as the pros go, this thing stays cool even under heavy load. 6S and 4S packs, even at or just a hair below 1C, that's still a very heavy load. And everything was ice cold. Very good, very impressive. It also comes with several different charge plugs right out of the box. That's really good. Also has alligator clips to charge it at the field. That's what this is right here and it just plugs right into the side there. And then you connect the alligator clips to your battery. That is very cool. The charger is really easy to use. I didn't even look at the manual. I just clicked a few buttons and figured it out right off the top, super fast. That is a very good thing. 
And another pro is that it automatically recognizes the number of cells that you're gonna charge. That's cool, I like that. A Little bit less input to input into the charger so you can get going and get ready to go to the field. I like that. As far as the cons go, and these are just nitpicky because I had to create something. You always have to come up with something. Uh, the fan, it always runs, so it's not super quiet, but of course there's a benefit of that. It keeps it nice and cool. That's good. And the other con is that it automatically wants to recognize a charge rate, the amperage, that's higher than 1C. I always try and charge things at 1C or below. It makes the batteries last longer, but personal preference, of course. So both of those cons might not even be cons to you at all. So there you go. Take them and use them as you need. Like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to check the links in the description. And GB Linden, out.